UCLA coach John Wooden has never had a losing season in 32 years of coaching. John Wooden is about as perfect a sports personality as anyone I've met in, in my 40 years of broadcasting. The man was a sports Abraham Lincoln. He was a Winston Churchill. He was a scholar. He was one of the great athletes of the game. He was a three-time All-America at Purdue. Plus, he was a good person. John was uh, what he seems to be a very uh, sort of prissy in the nice sense of the word. I once said he was so square he could be divided by two. Wooden style. It was laid back. It was honest, it was direct. He can say so much with so few words. For instance, he used to say, be quick, but don't hurry. It's about what is correct, not who is correct. We don't want activity without achievement. Four years to play, 40 years to remember. Failing to prepare is preparing to fail. Doing your best, it seems to me, is not so far from victory. He might have been more like a Methodist minister than a basketball coach. The son of an Indiana tenant farmer, John led his high school team to the state basketball title in 1927. After his playing days at Purdue, he spent 11 years as a high school coach, then two more seasons at Indiana State, before receiving simultaneous offers from two major universities. And he's offered a job at the University of Minnesota, and he's offered one at UCLA. And what happens, the day that he's supposed to really finalize the negotiations on the phone, Minnesota disappears off the face of the map under a snowstorm, which even for Minnesota is of monumental proportions. The sun is shining out in UCLA. So the, line, the phone lines are down in Minnesota. There can be no contact. But UCLA calls and says, well, what do you think? And he says, well, I got to get a job. I might as well take it. I know when he first came to L.A., he wasn't enamored by it, and uh, he didn't like it because it was a little too fast for him. There was a culture, so it was so different. It took me a couple of years to get acclimated. It was like oil and water. The style of play that, that Woody brought to Los Angeles was, was something they hadn't ever really seen. Wooden brought tradition, technique, and a work ethic to the West Coast. And although the Bruins were competitive, it would be 16 seasons before they'd win their first NCAA title. No one thought this team had any kind of a chance to really go far. They did not have a player over six feet five in their starting lineup. His first championship team was not a highly talented team, but it won because of his coaching. Somebody asked me, you know, how come it took you so long to win a national championship? And I said, I'm a slow learner, but you notice when I learn something, I have it done pretty good. Through the civil rights movement of the 60s, Wooden was a beacon of constancy. While his team continued to win, he advanced the integration of the college game. They had far more black players than anybody else in the league. They were probably one of the first schools, to my knowledge, that rec actually recruited nationally. The NCAA sees, if we televise UCLA, they will be a counterweight to the segregated Southern programs. Coach Wooden saw the Ku Klux Klan at its worst uh, during the 30s, and he understood what the fight was all about. But he was familiar with black athletes and understood uh, what black aspirations were about. The Bruins continued to roll as Wooden stayed in concert with the black movement. But his Indiana-born principles were suddenly under fire as waves of counterculture swept across every campus in the nation. We had drugs and free sex and the Cal campuses, UCLA and UC, were hotbeds that really set the tone for the nation. So many things going on, rock and roll, Nixon with Vietnam. We thought we were free, but then there was Coach Wooden. John Wooden held his guns. He expected his players to look a certain way, their hair had to be a certain way, they had to wear that uniform a certain way. There was a religious passion for the game. It wasn't just winning, he really wanted to win the right way. Wooden was certainly a man of, that paid attention to details. Each year, the first meeting, he'd start by showing you how to lace up your shoes. And to lace them up and tie them properly. That's how far he would go with the fundamentals. He taught us how to tuck our shirts in so that they never came out during the game. Taught us how to dry our hair after the showers. Taught us how to cut your nails so you never scratched anybody. Absolutely everything you would ever need to know. Mr. Wooden had this triangle, this pyramid of all the human qualities. Character, fortitude, honesty, truth. And if you lived up to the pyramid, then you won games. I consider myself to be a practice coach. I believe if I do my job during the week, 
then the job on the weekends when we play our games will handle itself. John Wooden preached practice and coached repetition and muscle memory through good habits. UCLA raised college basketball to a new level of acceptance. In 1968, the number one Bruins lost to number two Houston before 52,000 in the Astrodome, the largest crowd in college basketball history. When their 88-game win streak was ended by Notre Dame, it was one of the biggest stories of 1974. With six seconds left, into Walton, he can't score. Turn it, Myers, Fielding, it's all over. I believe that the uh, surge of the UCLA dynasty put college basketball on a higher plane. In those days, football and baseball were really a lot bigger as far as spectator sports than basketball was, but that changed when uh, UCLA started winning on a national level. For him, it was not necessarily wins and losses, but how he affected young men's lives. What he taught was life. Realizing that basketball, just being a small part of your life, was a place where you could learn life's great lessons.